I have noticed on social media, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere that Korean skincare is on the rise. I think that Korean dramas contribute to that. Everybody wants to have that Korean chuk chuk skin. Everybody wants to have that skin. So people continually buy Korean products. But is it all about the skincare or the cosmetics that they use? I'm here to tell you that there are ways on how to get that Korean skin without even using the skincare products that they use. I have been working and mingling with Koreans for about, say, seven, almost eight years now. I have noticed a lot of things about them. And some of the tips that I will be mentioning today are taught by the Koreans themselves on how they take care of their skin. First of all, we all know that their skincare is amazing. What I observe is that beginning at the age of 11 or 12 would have their own skincare routine. Around middle or high school, the Koreans would also continue the skincare that they have practiced since they were young. Now, skincare techniques aside, there are things that I have observed or noticed at work which I think are the reasons why Koreans have amazing skin. We can also apply this to us and hopefully we will get that moist skin that you see on TV. The first thing that I have observed with Korean lifestyle is that they take hydration seriously. Seriously on another level. They drink a lot of water. I think it's just in their system or their habit that they drink constantly. And when I'm at work, I actually drink more water or twice of more of the water that I drink in my house just because I see them take refills every so often. When Koreans eat, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, they have soup. I don't know why they have soup all the time. I guess it's just the culture that they have grown up with. They have soup. Whether it's for breakfast, lunch or dinner it must have soup i think they can't live without soup and soup is water equals to hydration um their soup are not just bland soup the first soup that they commonly serve is what they call denjang jjigae or denjang guk denjang jjigae and denjang guk is made from fermented soybeans of lactic acid which actually is very good for your gut and cleansing your gut Lactic acid is also found in kimchi and other food that is fermented. A lot of Korean food is fermented. It's all about their food. They have a food that is very, very balanced. There is this kind of food that I notice at work, which what they call muchim. Muchim is a sort of salad as to what they have explained to me. It's raw vegetables mixed with a, mixed with a kimchi base. Basically, it's some sort of kimchi that is not fermented. It's fresh and they would have muchim all the time. This is what I've noticed. If you have a cleaner gut, you would have better skin. This tip is something that the students have told me and I am surprised the first time I heard about this and it's what not to eat at night. Koreans say don't eat salty food at night because it will make your skin look puffy and tired and sometimes pimple would break out and I've noticed that when you eat a lot of food at night that is high in salt or sodium the next day I would actually have a puffy face and sometimes I would break out I never knew this until they told me so if I were you stop eating salty food at night because it somehow contributes to the state of your skin the next day and Koreans care about moisturizing and sun protection. In the Philippines, we have oily skin types and we tend to avoid putting moisturizer on just because we think we have already a lot of oil on our skin, why would we keep moisturizing? Um, Koreans don't think that way. They always have to moisturize. Whether you're an oily skin girl, you have to moisturize. With that idea being said, I finally realized the reason why Koreans wear sheet masks a lot. They care about hydration and their nighttime skincare routine. And it's one of the number one things that they have to prioritize. Hydration. Not only by drinking, but also externally by applying a lot of moisturizer. I have observed one of the students using mineral water for washing their face. And I thought, that is expensive. Why are you doing that? You can just wash with normal water. And she said, no, teacher, the water 
I'm not really sure what's in it. It, it might be high in uh, magnesium and blah 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 and so and so and I was kind of shocked what she was talking about. And I went to do my research and I found out that some water might have certain minerals in them and those minerals stay on our skin for the long time which suck out the moisture and make our skin really really bad and dull and that is why some of them do wash their face with mineral water another thing i learned from them is that they have this massage they always massage their face when they do this skincare they massage their face why do they do this it's because they want to increase the circulation of their blood to their face increasing circulation to your face will actually carry more oxygen to your skin hence making it more glowing it makes sense right massage your face get the circulation up there so that there's more oxygen and in turn you will have a brighter and a glowing skin people that i learned double cleansing from is from them too they have oil cleansing or balm cleansing and then they would do water cleansing after water cleansing they would do their facial full even korean men have a basic skincare routine that they follow another tip that i learned from them is learn to switch up your skincare products some people think that if a product works for them well, that they will have to keep it like that for the longest time. This is something that I have learned from Koreans that you do, you do not have to do all the time. Your skin changes depending on the season, depending on the climate or temperature of a certain given time and your skin does change. Sometimes you would have dry patches, sometimes you would feel oily. It's because it all depends on the current situation that you are in. You have to alter the skincare routine to match the skincare condition that you have. So that is what I have observed from Koreans. They are very meticulous on their skincare, but they do have a good lifestyle and a balanced diet, which makes them have this amazing skin that they have. It is not all about buying the expensive skincare products. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.